You are being sent on a mission. I think that is very clear. Ite nisa est. If you have encountered the Lord at this Mass, then you are being sent with that gift into the world. And how will God save civilization? It is through you. You are the plan. We as Catholics, there's over a billion Catholics in the world. You're telling me that we can't do something to save civilization? Of course we can. But it is getting our, our lives in order, getting the church in order, right? About being more focused on the Eucharist and more focused on God, even within the church, right? Ben, Pope Benedict said there is a secularism within the church, right? That we're not focused enough on the supernatural and, and what matters most. So uh, he said, what is God's plan for saving the world? It's us. That is, he came uh, into the world and he died for us on the cross, and he gathered his church around himself. That's what the word church means. It's kind of an assembly or gathering. He's gathered us together right now. What's God doing in the world? Where is God present in the world right now? In the community of the church. And, you know, it's too easy to think about the church as one organization amongst many. But that is not true. We're not a denomination. We're not just like a religious body. We are the mystical body of Christ in the world, and we are meant to permeate the whole. We are meant to be the soul of the world. We are meant to bring healing. We are meant to bring truth, to bring peace, to bring goodness, to bring beauty. Um, and we are meant to inspire people to, to really to evangelize them, to support them, to heal them, to gather people together, to work together, to cooperate um, even with people on the natural level, right? Just to say, we're going to work for just the goodness of marriage and family life with everyone who's willing to work together with us on that. We are going to, to uphold the dignity of human life because that is more and more countercultural. So how will the church rebuild civilization? It's recovering these goods that we are undermining in our culture. And so it is that we are going to have to be willing to die for the goodness of human life, that we have to be willing to die for the goodness of marriage and family life, that we're going to have to be willing to die for our Lord by putting him first. And that might literally be true, but even more mystically, it means that we're dying to ourselves to live for what matters most, that we're giving ourselves over to that completely so that he can live in and through us that Jesus will save civilization, that he will save this world by living in the members of his body and acting through them in the world.